Um, I had the pleasure, by the way, to start my day with some fourth graders Yay! at Center Grove <laughs> Elementary School. We talked about the weather. Lots of questions about our rain today yep. and the fact that it was associated with a hurricane. I tried to trip them up asking them, you know, what kind of weather don't we get here? No, they knew we don't get hurricanes <laughs> here. Uh, but we did talk about hurricanes. We talked about tornadoes and we're still happy we can do the 13 Weather Academy just a, a little different here during the pandemic doing it virtually. We're going to do a few more uh, classes of fourth graders at Center Grove next week. And if you're interested, uh, just holler. We'd love to uh, virtually visit your classroom as well. Temperatures across central Indiana today in the 40s, but where the rain ended first, we're in the 50s. Let's go back because I want to talk about rain totals. How? Because I promised the fourth graders I'd tell them how much rain we picked up. We were expecting an inch two on the high side three, and all of this area in green indicates where we picked up an inch, inch and a half of rain. As expected, the lighter totals in blue around a quarter of an inch or less. That includes those of you in Lafayette, Kokomo, up toward Peru. And then we do have this pocket of yellow to the south of Bloomington, where we did end up with two, two and a half inches of rain. But as I mentioned, it not only was rainy and windy, it was cool too. We're still in the 40s for most of us, but where the rain has ended, a nice rebound. Lafayette, the big winner today at 56 degrees. Most of us will be back close to 50 during the day tomorrow. This is Live Doppler 13 radar as we continue to track a little bit of rain. But as Scott pointed out, really tapering off for most of us. Not a lot of heavy rain downtown. That is beginning to shift off to the east toward those of you in Cumberland and Acton, south to Greenwood, into Martinsville. We still have some positive pockets of steady rain covering Morgan County and then east along I-74 and southeast along I-74 and Highway 52. Still some rain, Columbia, Connorsville over toward Liberty into Richmond, also Rushville and Shelbyville. So we'll keep showers in the forecast, mainly east and southeast of Indianapolis for the next couple of hours. When you join us at 11 o'clock, the rain will be gone and skies starting trying to clear. I do think we get a little bit of sunshine tomorrow. A chilly start at 37, 43 by noon. Temperatures eventually make it into the low 50s. If you're already planning for Operation Football, maybe a pumpkin patch or haunted house tomorrow evening, it's going to be a chilly night with temperatures in the 40s. We are back into the upper 50s. A nice start to the weekend for Halloween with a mix of sun and clouds, but then we track a fast moving weather system that may bring a couple of showers to the area late Saturday night, very early Sunday. They may be dealing with some lake effect snow showers up to our north for us. The bigger impact will be the drop in temperature for Sunday and the fact that it's going to be a breezy day. Partly sunny tomorrow, high 51, 57, bright and breezy for Halloween. Gusts over 40 with more clouds and a colder day Sunday, 46. But check out next week, quieter weather pattern setting up and we get a couple days in the 60s.